Today I will show you how I build the battery box for my electric bike and this include the bigger box for the battery, smaller box for the controller. So I bought this e-bike kit a few months back and it includes the brushless motor and the controller which is in this box and I'm going to use it to build my own electric bike and I will show you along the way everything from the inst installation of the e-bike kit to the battery, the battery box and the battery is in here uh, to the lights, I'm, sort of, I'm also going to make some lights and other gadgets and other electronics and there has been a lot of work I put into this bike and I'm not even completely done yet and later on I will also make a follow up video after I use it for a while but this video is going to be exclusively for the battery box only so let's get started alright so here's the plan first I need to uh, make a frame of the box using some wood planks or plywood so I got this piece of plywood here so my plan is to cut into long strips long small strips and uh, make a frame for the box but then I found this so this is a piece of wood plank I bought from a local hardware store and uh, let me show you why it is a perfect piece for this project right so I got my battery here let me measure the width of my battery to be eighty eight point one millimeter the width of the wood clank eighty eight point nine so it is a perfect match for my battery box just a little bit bigger uh, than my battery for the side of the box I plan to use some uh, laminated press wood like this piece but then I found this piece this is the uh, piece of press wood I found from uh, salvage from old projection TV it already has pre-drilled holes so that it will allow air to come inside the box and passively cool the battery pack, the controller and other electronics inside the box so now not only does it have pre-drilled holes it is also black which is the color I intended to paint this battery box uh, in the first place so now I can save even more time drilling the holes and painting it black. You know, it's about saving time, but you know what? The main reason is because I'm just lazy, that's all. Well, the fact that I want to ride an electric bike instead of using my muscle shows that I'm already lazy in the first place. So what am I saying? Alright, so here we go. Let's start making the box.
All right, I'm done. Let me show you what I got here. The way I mount the box on the frame is just by four screws. And uh, these are the screws for the water bottle. There are two water bottle holders on this bike, therefore I have four screws to mount the box on the frame. And that's it. It's only held by uh, these four screws and it's really strong. I don't even need uh, to use brackets or anything like that. But most bike only has one bottle, a water bottle holder. So you can mount two screw like here and then on the other side uh, you're gonna have to uh, use some brackets to mount on the frame and that should do. I also made a small frame this around the box so that I can hold my batteries in place and stop them from falling out. And it's good enough to hold my batteries in place without any other support like this. So it's not gonna fall out. See that? Uh, this frame also has some round magnets so that will stick to the cover. So this is the cover. So all I have to do is put it on and we'll stick to it. And uh, this way I can quickly open and close the cover to get to the battery, just like that. And you know this cover, even though it's easy to remove, it's really strong, as you've seen in the video. Uh, it's strong enough to hold the entire box and lift the entire box up. So it's, uh, it's strong. Try to pull it this way, it's stronger and it won't fall out. I can pull in the corner, it will come out easily. This battery box only has enough room for my batteries. There's no more room for the controller. So I have to make another smaller box below it for the controller. And uh, also it contains all the wiring inside this box. As you can see, I have many holes on my boxes. Here, here. And uh, these holes are for passive air cooling. And I have tried to run this bike and the, the controller does get pretty warm. So I decided to make the box with holes so that cool air can come in and cool the controller, the batteries and other electronics. Of course the limitation here is, is it might get wet in the rain, water might get in here in the rain. But I live in a part of the world where it does not rain as much and I would prefer not to ride my bike in the rain when it rains here. So at least for me in this uh, geographic location cooling the component inside the box is more important than waterproofing them. If you live in an area that rains a lot then you would definitely make a watertight box so water doesn't get into the box and ruin your battery and the controller. This is the other side of the box and on this side I got a fused switch. This is a combination of a switch and a fuse and there's a fuse inside the switch and it's a 30 amp fuse Let's see if I can get it out here okay. and uh, this switch is originally designed for uh, solar power installation but it would be, would be perfect for what I'm using here so this switch is will serve as three purposes it's a power switch turn on and off it's a fuse because it's got a fuse and it's a kill switch in case something goes wrong and just turn it off and just uh, pull it up and turn it off just like that and uh, that's why I installed this switch outside of the box and easily accessible so I can turn it off uh, immediately if I have to so the positive wire uh, comes out of the battery pack so the battery packs in here positive wire come out into the switch and then out to the controller. And here's my uh, homemade 24 volt battery pack that I made previously. I'll put a link in the uh, description below if you want to see it. And uh, I've had a lot of comments in that video about this battery. Some say that I just made a bomb that's going to explode. Guess what? I made two bombs. And uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna put them in my bike 
and ride them around town. Hopefully the police is not going to arrest me for carrying weapons of mass destruction. So the battery is going to be connected uh, to this funny looking thingy like this. Both of them. Okay, so this one connected to, to another one like that. And they're all connected in series. Each 24 volts, so both of them are 48 volts to power my bike. Uh, it's a college tool battery, so you know when I'm done, I just remove and use it for my tool. Or if I need to charge them, and use the original charger and uh, charge them when I'm done. And ca I can also use smaller battery like this 4 amp hour battery here and uh, it would fit in here also just fine like so and then connect two of this together and I can still ride my bike with this or even this alright let's install the battery so this goes in here like so like that and push it in here like so and then this same push it in like so and put it in here and then I'm connect it to my power cable this goes out to my controller and that's it Here we go. Both batteries inside the box. Put the cover on. Just like that. Single handed. Now flick the switch on. That's it. Turn on. We got power. Let's go for a ride. Alright, here we go. So there you go, I've reached the maximum speed of about 30 miles per hour, which is around what, 45 to 50 kilometers per hour. And um, the motor is very, very quiet. I couldn't even hear anything. The only thing I hear is the wind. That's it. And let's see how warm the battery is. Wow, I can't feel anything. So the battery, the batteries are cool they stay cool how about the controller relatively cool a bit i would say it heats up just a little bit but not too much uh, it's still cool but overall it works great for me Hi right, folks, and that's it for now. Next video, I'm going to show you how I made this funny looking thingy to connect my battery uh, to my bike. And also, I'll show you how I put everything together. Until then, and I'll uh, see you next time. Thanks for watching.